Greetings fellow history enthusiasts. Today we will delve into one of the most decisive battles of the Second Macedonian War, the Battle of Cynocephali. This battle marked the beginning of Rome's domination of Greece and left a lasting impact on the ancient world. So, grab your weapons and prepare to march into the Battle of Cynocephali. The Second Macedonian War was a conflict between the Roman Republic and the Kingdom of Macedon that lasted from 200 to 197 BC. King Philip V of Macedon was expanding his territories and consolidating his power in the eastern Mediterranean, which threatened Rome's interests in the region. The Roman Republic responded by declaring war on Macedon determined to protect their interests in the area. The Battle of Cynocephali was fought on July 197 BC on the plain of Cynocephali in Greece. The two armies were evenly matched, with King Philip V leading the Macedonian forces and Titus Quintus Flaminius commanding the Roman army. The Romans were marching towards Macedon when they encountered Philip's army in the hills surrounding the city of Cynocephali. The morning of the battle was shrouded in heavy fog, making it difficult for both armies to coordinate their movements. Despite this, Philip's forces moved forward, encountering a detachment of Roman cavalry and light infantry. The two sides engaged in a skirmish, after which they had both sent a detachment back to the main army to warn them and send more troops to the hill. Soon, more Roman troops appear while Philip sent more light troops to support as well.
The battle on the hills grew intense, and Flaminia sent reinforcements. But Philip's men eventually drove the Romans back. Philip was initially hesitant to send his phalanx into the broken terrain, but eventually did so, leading an assault on the Roman forces. Flaminius also pushed his left flank towards the hill to meet the Macedonian army. reached the summit of the hill and Philip ordered a charge into the Roman legionaries. They easily dispersed the remaining Roman skirmishers who were in the way between the Macedonian phalanx and the Roman legions. As the phalanx pushed forwards down the hill, 
the weight of the double-lined Macedonian formation forced the Romans to give ground. On the right Roman wing, Flaminius ordered his elephants, along with heavier infantry, formed in the triplex aces to advance on the hill and attack the Macedonians. The hot sun beat down on the battlefield, warming it and eventually dispersing the fog. On the Roman left, the battle was fierce, but Philip's left, under the command of Nicanor, never managed to properly form up. Flaminius concentrated his attack on Nicanor and the Macedonians' left side, and the battle was balanced. Flaminius then sent his elephants charging into the phalangites, causing them to panic. One of the Roman tribunes, stationed on the advanced Roman right wing, detached 20 maniples of heavy infantry and led them to the Roman left. The Macedonian phalanx was continuously pushing on that side, as Flaminius's troops started to suffer heavy losses.
As soon as the detached maniples reached the Roman left, they surrounded the flank and threatened the phalanx formation of Philip V. Philip tried to repel the Roman attack, however was unsuccessful, and fled the battlefield, realizing the imminent loss. The Macedonians were unable to reposition themselves in time, and the Roman maniples quickly surrounded and defeated them. In the ensuing panic, the Macedonians raised their sarissas as a sign of surrender, but the Romans either did not understand or ignored the signal. The outcome of the Battle of Sinusophile was a decisive victory for the Roman Republic. The battle marked the end of the Second Macedonian War and the beginning of Rome's domination of Greece. The Battle of Sinusophile was a significant event in the history of the ancient world. It demonstrated the effectiveness of the Roman Republic's tactics and military prowess. And that concludes our journey into the Battle of Sinusophile. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Aditu Lordis. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and share this video with your fellow history buffs. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more epic battles and stories from the ancient world. Until next time, farewell.